Hello, it's Igret here, and uh, today we have a sort of tutorial where we can we're going to see how you can use abstract humanoid characters to your uh, 3D scene. However, you can choose any software you like, but we're going to use Blender for this video, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the uh, cool techniques to create uh, abstract art. And I think you're gonna find it useful, and I hope you do so. So let's get to it. So what we have here is pretty basic scene uh, and you can see my, my outliner is pretty rough. I was using this for other projects uh, but I'm going to show you how exactly I'm going to uh, turn this into beautiful artwork and you can use the techniques to do the same for your kind of project. Uh, so the first thing here we have is a, a posed uh, humanoid character. Uh, you can see here we have a bunch of rocks which I press them like they're floating and we have a simple uh, background uh, backdrop for the backdrop uh, lighting and stuff so you can actually see here we don't also have the lighting for so we can also going to cover that the very important part of the tutorial so what am i going to do uh, i think i'm gonna have to isolate everything i'm just going to work on the character first so yeah, we can select the rocks. We can hide them for now. I'm gonna try to uh, add some 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 cool effect to our body lines here. So what I usually do is I uh, go to edit mode. So now you can see we have pretty much loop cuts here. Like we can place them anywhere, and then they appear like this. And this is very interesting because we can create some cool stuff from this. Cut. So the first one I'm gonna add is uh, on her face here, like there. And now you can see we have an age selected. Apply that and then place P to separate. And then we're going to separate that now. So now we can have a different object here. So if you can place G to grab it like this, you can actually see here it's a different object. Now, what I would like to do here is to convert this one to curve. So let's click and uh, convert to uh, curve. And now we have a curve object there. So you can see on the curve tools here, we do have a geometry tab and then increase the depth. And now you can actually see here I'm starting to model some cool effects so you can do this but uh, I'm just going uh, like that and you can actually see here so I'm using uh, 0 0.2 meters right click uh, you can shoot this one of course but uh, yeah it all depends on what you like and how you see but I'm gonna use that and the speed selection I'm going to convert this one to and I'm gonna use the same value that I use here 0 0.29 okay let's see sometimes it's getting really tricky to actually see but the outliner is also helping so yep make sure you use the outline of that match so right click convert to curve make it to 0 0.2 and now you can see we have some cool effect now you can see we have added something more interesting to our face here and now you can also do the same again so this process could be repetitive and interesting So you can actually see it automatically like trying to see uh, where is the cursor positioned and uh, what exactly is going to the loop cut is going to be and this is applied to all characters that are available in the pack the link is in the description below if you want to check it out Now we can see we have something interesting. Now the next thing that we can actually do here um, is make sure these curves they are they have the same material. So I'm just gonna disable this uh, base mesh. Let's join that. 
now we have the bat. Let's also clear any parents. So let's create a new material here. Let's get uh, wires. Now the next thing here is how uh, we're going to make it even more interesting this space so what am i going to do here is on her body here i'm just going to select it uh, i'm just going to duplicate this one and then i have two meshes here uh, make sure it is on the same spot it was and on the same location i'm gonna scale it up the pivot is at the center so i'm just going to gonna switch to modifier uh, settings tab here i'm gonna add a wireframe you can see we have a wireframe modifier applied uh, scale it up right above the surface and you can actually see this is pretty interesting so we're gonna increase the thickness a little bit to add more geometry in there so you can actually see we have a really nice custom design here this is the technique that i usually love to use and it really pays off we can start working on other stuff so now I think the modeling part is done we can add a couple extra effects like for example you can even use curves to add more interesting stuff What are we going to do right now is simply going to work on our lighting so let us uh, switch these to psycho i'm using cycles for rendering i'm not using eevee because like i said in my other tutorials eevee is kind of awkward shift a i'm going to add a light and that light is going to be an aerial light okay let's scale this one up now we have this here 500 now that's too much 250 I'm gonna duplicate the lights and just we have something cool so that's gonna be it for this tutorial guys uh, I hope to see you in the next video uh, just make sure you pop up uh, in the description below you can see the link to the uh, full abstract human collection which contain over 100 and uh, 10 pose demon figures you can use for your abstract designs projects